Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. So one of my past videos that has a lot of views and a lot of comments, but most of the comments are, it's hard to follow because this was one of my earlier videos and I recorded the shots too close and I cut a lot and it was an origami type video. So there were some spots in there that were really difficult to follow. I rewatched it and yeah, I figured I need to redo this video. So here is a re-release of Ron's Howler. And I'm also going to do a couple new things in this video. Go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. So we have uh, red paper, just like uh, in my previous video, if you've seen that. Um, I do have these little strips on here that are kind of annoying. It has like uh, barcodes on it and stuff, so I'm gonna have to cut those off. But other than that, this part's gonna be the same, and then we also have the letter itself right here, and we have the, um, address label right here. So these I did print on regular paper. Um, if you want to, you can print it on sticker paper. It makes it a lot easier because then you can just literally peel it off and stick it onto your uh, howler letter. So first we do need one of these cut out and then we also need to cut this out and it's pretty simple. You just cut the white space off. I'm gonna be using a ruler and X-Acto knife for uh, both of these and then I'm gonna round the corners on this one with scissors. Okay, so now we have the letter and the mail label, so we can start on the actual envelope itself now. This actual like cardstock paper, this is actually a, a nice cardstock I got at um, Joanne Fabrics, so it, if you want something similar to this, that's where I got it. It's kind of textured on one side, so I thought that was a, a cool touch, makes it look a little more like impressive, I guess. Hopefully by the end it will. So anyways, I'm gonna have to cut off this strip right here where the barcode is, and we want to have a piece of this that measures six by 15 inches. So we're going to have to cut a couple of these and kind of glue them together just to get one long six by 15 inch piece of red paper. So first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this annoying barcode right here. I don't even know why they put these on the paper. It's just weird. So let's just cut this off. Okay, so now what we, what we need is six by 15. So we'll go ahead and measure six inches down on both sides of this piece of paper. Now you can either mark this with a pencil or I'm just gonna do it with my X-Acto knife, put a little slit right there where that six inches mark is. And then I'll do that same thing on this side. There, so now we have our marks and I can cut this down to size. So here is our six inch sheet and if we measure this way mine is about 12 inches down this way so i'm going to need to have another piece and we'll just measure this across this is mm, not quite six inches actually yeah it is pretty pretty close that's that's pretty close to exactly the same width actually so this is perfect so what i'm going to do is glue these together i'm going to take a glue stick and then about Hi guys, this is Danny from the future. Don't use a glue stick on this part. Um, use double-sided tape as well because uh, the glue just didn't hold up. We need double-sided tape there to make sure that the top part kind of like stays on the howler. It's pretty likely that you're going to have kind of like uh, an edge right here that doesn't quite match up. So you can fix that real easy with your X-Acto knife. So now we have a big long piece of paper, but we only need six inches by 15 inches. So now we can measure all the way down to the 15 inch mark. And we're gonna mark that right there. And then we'll do that on this side as well. And then now I can cut off that extra little bit of paper from this end. And there we go. And now we can get into the fun part of folding this up. And this is the part where it got a little confusing in my previous video. All right, so the first fold we're gonna make is we're gonna fold this directly in half. And I did notice that my 
uh, paper started to come apart right here where I had glued it, even though I'm pretty sure I waited long enough for it to dry. So you might want to reinforce that with a little double-sided tape. All right there, we've got our first fold. So now we're going to keep the part that we glued at the bottom here. So that's gonna be right here closest to me. And then I'm going to take this top right corner and I'm going to fold it in so that this corner touches the, uh, the fold that we made down the center. And then this corner is folded directly into the corner. So from this corner down into the center fold that we just made. And we're gonna fold that just like that. And then we're going to take this corner and fold it down into the center as well. So we should have this. Now before we go any further, we need to make sure that this stays together like this. And to do that, in my previous video, I used a glue stick, but in this video, in this new uh, <laughs> update, I think I'm gonna use this uh, permanent double-sided tape because it's gonna, it's, I feel like it's just gonna be easier using the, the uh, double-sided tape on this. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna put the tape right here on this triangular uh, sort of fold right here that we have. We're gonna put one piece right here on this part and then we're gonna take another piece of tape and we're gonna put it right over to here. And if you have too much, you can always fold it in on itself because it is double-sided tape and it will stick to itself as well. There we go. And then we're gonna do one more piece of tape right here. So as you can see, this whole little triangle part has double-sided tape on it. And then when we fold it now, like this, that tape is going to make this fold stick like that. And then the next part we have to do is put tape on this side so that this part sticks to this part. So let's do that same thing that we did. And there you see we have double-sided tape right here. So now when we close it up, it will stick and it will stay right there like this. This is what we want right here. So we have this sort of like funnel shape right here on the inside of the paper as you can see. So we're just going to take this and we're going to flip it over like this and then we're going to fold our paper right here. So this whole part is going to flip over um, and then you can see this little diamond shape that we have on the other side. Um, we're going to line it, line this up like, like this. So if you can see what I'm doing here, we've, we've got this, I mean, even if you don't flip the page over, you can still see how you do it by folding the uh, funnel part this way around the back of the paper like this. And we are going to fold this all the way across so the crease is gonna go all the way along to there. So now you should be right here, okay? And we'll do that to the other side too. So again, if we flip this over, unfold that, we do the same thing again, only the reverse side. So we have it flipped over and now this side is the side that comes along and lines up with the diamond part on this side. And right there, we make our fold just like this. So now, this is what it looks like. We have our funnel, I mean, as if you unfold it, we have our funnel part and then we have this sort of like an X fold right there. And then from here, we will take it and we'll take this little sort of diamond shape here where the funnel is on the inside and we're just going to turn it over like this so that here's that X that we uh, folded in there. So this edge of the diamond lines up right with the center of that X fold or that X crease that we made. And now we fold that down 
And there we go. So it should look like this. Okay, so now from that position, we can now fold this back where we just made that fold with the diamond. So we're going to undo that fold so we just have a crease now right here. So we're back to that first starting position where here's the funnel, only we have an X crease here and then we have another line crease right on the inside of the funnel there. So now if we take it and we fold this in so that the sort of funnel shape is now on the inside of this, you can see that this is starting to look like the top of an envelope here. You can see that's where like the glue would be like right here for the envelope. That's where you would seal it. Now we will take this part and fold it over on itself right up to that crease line. So right up to where that crease is in the middle of that X, the bottom part is going to fold in right here. And then we put a crease right there. And now if you fold this in right here, look at that. It looks like a little red envelope. And now we need to do a, a little bit more tape. We're going to put a little square of tape here and a little square of tape here. So here's a piece right here. And here's another piece right here. So that's where you want the uh, tape, as you can see where it's kind of uh, reflecting right there. And then the big uh, bottom flap here folds in and you can kind of stick it to those two little pieces of tape. And there you go. So you should be like this. From this point, if you, if you kind of bend this open, so as you can see, it has like a little bit of uh, part that's taped together here and here. So if we bend that open and it looks like this, from the corner right here where that tape starts to stick the pages together, all the way in to this center X, we want a crease right there. So that's about where my tape starts right there. And we want that to crease from here all the way over to the center of our X crease in the middle. So we will put that crease right there, just like that. And we want to do that to both sides. So I'm going to do that over here too, where that tape starts. I will make a crease starting there all the way over into the center of that X crease. I really hope this part's a little confusing too, so I hope that this one is a bit easier to, to follow than my first video. So there we go. This is what we have now. You can see those new creases that we made right here and here. And those creases should actually go um, sort of inward or outward, I guess, out the, the back of the uh, howler letter out of the howler envelope. So we want that crease to sort of do this. As you can see, it's now, I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a confusing shape to look at, but see that crease that we made is now inside and it's like inward instead of outward, I guess <laughs> you would say. So yeah, we'll make this one also. And then from here, as you can see, it is starting to take that kind of howler uh, letter shape right here. But let's make it look a little bit better. So we'll take the top part and we're going to reinforce this little crease right here at the top. Actually, this would be, from what we've been saying so far, this would be the bottom, of, uh, but it is now the top. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and reinforce that crease a little bit like that. We can curl these edges up a little bit to make it look a little more like the right shape like that. There we go. And then if you sort of like take these two corners where we put the double sided tape and just sort of squeeze them a little bit, you can see that it starts to take that howler type shape 
right here. So now we're going to put this letter in the howler. So we're going to take our letter and we're going to fold about an inch up from the bottom toward the text, or no, less than an inch, probably like a half inch or so. And then we're gonna do that on the top as well, about a half inch up or down, I guess, toward the text. So now we should have this. So now we're going to want to make those parts that we just folded here, these are supposed to look like teeth. So the way we do this is you're going to, uh, we need to maybe, it doesn't have to be perfect, but sort of in your mind imagine about five creases along here and spread them out as even as you possibly can. So we're going to take and pinch right like this. So now this is pinched to make a crease. So now with a little bit of that pinched all the way up to this line here, we're just going to make a tiny crease on that side and a tiny crease on this side so it looks like this. And there you go. We're gonna do that across here. So now the top part looks like this. As you can see, it's almost like teeth the way we creased it. And we do that to both sides. So there we go, as you can see, it looks like we have our sort of teeth creases in here, which opens up into our letter. So now we've got to put this inside of our howler uh, envelope. Before we actually put the letter in there, we do need to make the tongue. Um, so get some dark red ribbon, and then we're just going to cut about, about four, three or four inches. And the tongue is forked, so the way we're gonna do that is fold your ribbon in half, and then take a pair of scissors and sort of cut at an angle. So if we're right here, we take our scissors and we cut at an angle from the outside to the inside. And then when we open the ribbon back up, you can see it has that sort of forked tongue shape. Now we'll need to take our X-Acto knife and we need a slit about the same width as our uh, tongue, as our ribbon here, right under the line where it says, put another toe out. So about right in the center, that's where we want that. So I'm just going to do this right here. So then we can take our uh, tongue ribbon and put it through that little slit that we made. And then to get this to stay, we can use double-sided tape or you can also use regular tape on this side. There, so now we have our tongue and our letter right there. With the bottom part of the note here, we need to stick this just about right here. So the teeth right here need to line up about like this, as you can see right here. So it kind of overlaps a little bit over that uh, diamond shape right there at the bottom. We're gonna use double-sided tape. We're going all double-sided tape this time around. We're gonna put about an inch piece of double-sided tape on the bottom of the letter right here and then we'll line that back up and tape that down. And then I will take another piece of, of double-sided tape, and this time we want it to be just about as long as the letter is wide. And that's gonna go all the way across the top part of the letter. And then we've taped the top part of the teeth and the top part of the letter to the top of the envelope like this. And then you have a howler letter. But we're not gonna stop here because we wanna be able to fold this into an actual envelope and then unfold it into the howler. And that's what this project is. It's pretty simple actually. So the tongue just stays flat. The teeth fold in on the bottom and the top. So we fold both teeth in from the letter. And then the big uh, top part, or I guess now it's becoming the bottom part of the letter, folds in like this, and then the top, or which is the bottom, but now becoming the top of the envelope part, just like I showed you before when we were folding this whole thing together, you can take this and flip that diamond part along like this, like that, and then fold it over, and now we are back to an envelope shape, see? And then when you want it to open back up, you just open this, flip the diamond over and the teeth come out and then turn it over 
and pull the top part open and then pop the teeth out like that. Make sure the tongue isn't just hanging there and then there we go. We're back to a howler. So let's go ahead and fold this back into an envelope and then we'll continue. With the envelope now, we can take a piece of ribbon and the ribbon is going to fold over your envelope. To get this ribbon the right size, we're just gonna pull a piece out about like this, put the envelope here and then wrap this around. And we want maybe about two more inches of slack on this side with it folded around the envelope. So if we snip off that side right there, you have a piece about like this long. And the idea here for when we're actually going to fold this around the envelope is it's going to fold over here and this side's gonna fold up and then we're going to have a couple of pieces going off to the side like this. So if we fold the ribbon up and then fold it over here into about like this, then I'm going to use double-sided tape to make sure that this fold stays there. So just a little piece of double-sided tape right along the crease that I made here. Fold the ribbon over and there we go. And again, if you don't want to use double-sided tape, you could use a little bit of glue or something, just probably not a glue stick. So there's that one. And then for the top, the top is going to fold down. The top part's a bit different. We'll fold it up like this and then down like this. And we wanna make sure that the ribbon looks like it's going the right direction there. So we've made two creases on the top part and we're gonna to have to use double-sided tape on both of those just to make sure that they stay. So that first one was just a fold upward. We're going to put a little piece of double-sided tape here and do that fold upward like this. And then we're gonna do that next fold where it's basically the same as the other side. We're going to have it going off to the edge like that. So now we want both of these to be the same length. So we can just hold them up next to each other like this and we will they're actually both forked as well, so I mean we could fold them in half together like this and they are doubled up right now and then just do that same thing we did before to get them into like a forked look just like that. So as you can see it does look a little bit better when they're the same length and they have that sort of forked look to the ribbon. Now the next thing we want is some sticker paper. We also need a stamp, and I'm just gonna use my Hogwarts uh, stamp. Um, if you have an H, or I'm sorry, if you had a, a W for Weasley, that would probably be better, but I'm just gonna use a Hogwarts stamp for this, and some gold sealing wax. We're gonna make a gold uh, seal on top of this sticker paper about the size of maybe a quarter. So we'll just go ahead and start dripping this uh, wax on here. We want a pretty big size wax seal, so we're gonna need a pretty good sized puddle of the sealing wax on this paper. Here we go. Press the seal down on the wax. Wait a couple of uh, seconds for it to dry, and then we should be able to lift the seal off, and there we go. So now we have this gold Hogwarts seal on our, our sticker paper, so we're just going to sort of cut this out. Try and make sure that you do this and not have any of the white of the paper showing. Honestly, I probably could have used a little bit more wax, but it just looks more natural, I guess, this way. So now we have the wax seal on one side, and then we have sticker paper on the other side. Now in the first video, what I did was I just took the sticker paper off and used that to stick the wax seal on here. But that's not what I'm gonna do in this one. I actually have a different idea. Here I have some little magnets, which I'm going to try. And if that doesn't work, I have a plan B, which is this Velcro. The problem with the Velcro though, is it's going to be right here on the outside of the letter or of the envelope. So you'll kind of, you'll probably see it. Whereas these 
magnets we can put on the inside. So let's try these magnets first and see how well they work. So we'll grab two of these. So I probably should have put this magnet in before I did this uh, tape right here, but that's fine. I'll just retape it afterwards. So what we want to do is make sure the magnet's going to go in the right place, which should be in that that kind of funnel area in the inside right here. So if we flip this over, this is how it's going to close. We want to make sure it is right here. So I got these magnets that have adhesive on one side. Otherwise, you could just, you know, glue it in or uh, use some heavy-duty double-sided tape or something. And I'm just going to put it right in there. It's really, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get a good shot of that, but it's just right inside there. Now I can re-glue the bottom back on there. And now if we fold it up, the magnet is right there, right where it should be. Now let's, let's uh, put the magnet on the Hogwarts seal. Let's also take the sticker paper off of the wax seal. There we go. The magnet goes on like that. I'm just going to cut off a little square here and cover it back up. And then we can cut this off again. So now we have our wax seal and we can see how well this works. Whoops. It's upside down. If we put the ribbon where it goes, and then we take the wax seal, put it on top, and it does stay. So that's great. I was worried that the ribbon might be a little bit too thick and the magnets wouldn't uh, stick to each other, but there is no, no problem there. It's not falling off at all. And the only thing left to do is put Ron's uh, address right on top right here. And we're gonna put it on top of the ribbon so that it kind of holds it in place as well. Of course, with double-sided tape. So there we go. We have this covered in double-sided tape on this side now. And make sure we put it the right way. Runs, uh, and also you want to put this kind of like a little bit below those, or so it's not right on top of those creases that you made so that you're not creasing this part. But here we go. And that is the howler letter. So like to take this apart, we would just Easily take that off, set it aside, open up the ribbons, open it up, and then there you go, you're back to your howler letter. Let me know what you guys think of this new and improved uh, video for the howler letter. Um, I think that uh, obviously it needed an, a new recording because of how hard it was to follow in some parts of my original video. I hope I did it better this time. And I really like the addition of using a magnet in there instead of just the double-sided tape or, you know, sticker paper or something, because it really, it's gonna last a lot longer when we do it this way. So, yeah, this is always a fun project to do. It was, the first time I did it, it was fun, and it was fun this time. It was almost more fun this time because um, I knew I was doing some things differently and I was making, I think I made it better this time than I did last time. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys really like this project. Um, if you check out the description box below, there is a giveaway link if you want a chance at winning the howler that I made in this video today. And then um, on top of that, down there, you're also gonna find my 70K giveaway, and that is for the Accio Box covers that I designed for exclusively for Accio Box. I have a full set of them as well as a full set of the Harry Potter American Edition hardbacks that they fit. Whoever wins the 70K giveaway is going to get all the covers and all the books shipped directly to them. Also stay tuned soon because I have a lot of giveaways to announce now because everything kind of got put on hold because of the whole pandemic and mailing things out is still kind of up in the air. I don't know who's going to be able to get their mail and who isn't, but we're gonna go ahead and announce all the giveaways in a dedicated giveaway video coming up very soon. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. 
So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.